Okay, let's get this out of the way right now. Who's going to sing the theme song for the Power Rangers movie? I'm putting money on it, Dina Menzel. Go, 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 Power Rangers, go, go, you mighty, and you morphin too, let the power protect you, Lord Zed never bother me anyway. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andre, I'm a black nerd, and whoa, do we have some news for you today. <laughs> Brace yourselves. Lionsgate and Saban have announced that they are making a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. I'm serious, a live action reboot Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie for the big screen. We have traveled back in time. It is 1993, everybody. Get your friendship bracelets on, put on your overalls with one strap off, and let's go drink some Ecto Cooler and eat some Ninja Turtle pies. I officially got the press release and they had a bunch of talk in there about how Power Rangers have been around for 20 some years, blah, 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 blah. And then it was like, yes, Lionsgate and Saban are working together to make a Power Rangers movie, which I was surprised about because Nickelodeon is currently showing Power Rangers, so I just assumed that Nickelodeon movies will be making the Power Rangers movie just like they're making the Ninja Turtles movie right Right now, even though it has nothing to do with the Nickelodeon show. Maybe Nickelodeon wasn't interested in it, so Lionsgate was like, we'll do it. I'm just wondering if Tyler Perry is going to direct it, because Lionsgate also does the Tyler Perry movies. So it'll be Tyler Perry's Mighty Medea Power Rangers. <laughs> they also do the Hunger Games, so we could have the Ranger Games. Now, before you start wondering if it's gonna be Super Mega Force or Dino Charge, no, 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 no. It is a reboot. It says so in the press release. They are re envisioning the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which makes perfect sense since they're making a movie version of this. Because I know there's some Power Ranger fans out there and you love all your different seasons, your Zeos and RPMs and Lost Galaxies and Furies, but for the average person that remembers Power Rangers, they don't know about the 20 year legacy. They just know about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They watched that when they were a kid and it was like, oh yeah, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with the dinosaurs and the Green Ranger and all that stuff. That's what they remember. So it makes perfect sense if they're going to make a movie version of Power Rangers to reboot that original season. They got to get that money, son. Let me make that clear. It is a reboot of the original Power Rangers. So don't get excited thinking that Austin St. John, Amy Jo Johnson, and David Yost, and Walter Jones, and everyone's gonna be putting that spandex back on again as the original Power Rangers. Uh-uh, it's a reboot. There's gonna be a new cast. In the press release, it even said that they were high school students who get the powers of the Power Rangers, so expect a brand new cast. But that brings up a big question. Are they gonna make a brand new cast of brand new characters, or are they literally gonna try to recast the original characters? I think it'd be weird to see a new person play Jason, or Kimberly, or Billy, or Trini, or Zack. It'd be kind of strange because we know the actors that played those characters. It's not like a cartoon or anything like that, but I'm sure that's how the people of Star Trek felt when they saw that Chris Pine and Siler were Kirk and Spock. <laughs> but I guess the best way to answer that question is to find out if this movie is going to be a complete, complete reboot or a continuation reboot. We've seen reboots where everything that's happened in the past still exists, but it's just a new take or a new addition to what we've had in the past that has a little bit of familiar reality to it but it is also something new we've also seen just complete don't nothing else exist reboots where this is a brand new thing starting from scratch and nothing else prior to it ever existed if they're going to go with that route with the just this is a brand new thing not touching any other part of the power Rangers universe i could totally see them recasting that original cast with jason and billy using those actual names because those again are names that if you're a hardcore power ranger fan from back in the day you're like oh i remember those names I remember jason I remember tommy I remember zach you may remember those names so they may want to use those again but if this is a continuation of the original power rangers then it's probably a chance that they're going to use new character names to have the powers of the Power Rangers and make some kind of storyline to where those powers are available again to this new cast. I'm going to be honest with you though, I kind of have a feeling this is going to land in the it's its own thing category. Because think about all the other universes we know when it comes to superhero and action films and nostalgic properties. A lot of them are full on reboots or they have different universes. Let's take Marvel and DC for example. There's the movie universes, there's the comic universes, there's the cartoon universes. Even Ninja Turtles now has multiple universes between the comics, the cartoons, and the upcoming movie. So. Why wouldn't Power Rangers want to get into that? Why would they not want to have a TV show version of Power Rangers, a comic book version of Power Rangers, a movie version of Power Rangers, maybe an animated series of Power Rangers, Power Ranger Babies? We don't know what they have planned, but Power Rangers up to this point has always had to be on this straight one path because it had to base everything off of its Japanese counterpart. By creating a movie here with a brand new set of rules and a brand new franchise, 
in a way, with a nostalgic franchise being Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but doing it in a brand new way where no Japanese footage will be used, kind of like the original Power Rangers movie, it allows them to have the creativity to do anything they want. And I gotta be real, I kind of want that. I kind of would like to see what Power Rangers could do, particularly Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which we love and remember. I would love to see what they would do with that when they have no need at all to put any Japanese footage into it to make it connect. That was what I felt was kind of weird about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the, the old 90s movie with Ivan Ooze and all that. As good as that movie is, I enjoy that movie a lot. I love that movie. But the whole reason for that movie was basically to introduce the new season of Power Rangers to let you know that the Ninja Stores are coming. And then they even had like a four part episode of Power Rangers on television with a completely different storyline to get them those Ninja D powers. So it almost <laughs> retconned the whole movie. For once, we need to make some Power Rangers material that does not have to be connected to Japanese footage. It has an American face to it. I know everyone loves their Sentai, it's cool, enjoy your Sentai, but for Americans who remember Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I think it's time after 20 years that they can see a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers It doesn't have to switch from being in someone's backyard one minute and Japan the next. I just feel like that this might be a good idea for them so that, that way they can have all kinds of different media. If it could happen with Batman and Spider-Man and everyone else, why can't it happen to Power Rangers? They're superheroes too, so why can't they have different universes? So Power Ranger fans, I, I know you're getting a little like, whoa, 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 what about the legacy? It's okay, <laughs> let it go. Now the big question is, what will be the tone of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie? And Spider-Man and Batman and all these cartoons that we get have a certain tone on TV, but then when we get movies, we get PG-13 movies, there's some darkness to it sometimes. Is that gonna happen with the Power Rangers? Because up to this point, Power Rangers have been cheesy. And even with the Power Rangers movie, it was a little, it was a tiny more serious, still cheesy. I'm curious if this is gonna be a like legit, Batman Begins <laughs> type of Power Rangers movie, which it could be. I think it's gonna still be lighthearted because obviously they're gonna wanna sell this thing to kids, but I feel like with the nostalgia property behind it that there's a chance they could be a little bit more risky, be a little bit more serious in tone. I'm not looking for a dark, gritty Power Rangers by any means, but I feel like this will probably be a little bit more serious because I think what they're trying to do here is they're really trying to make a legitimate superhero film. Like they want to be seen it, they want to be seen, that was going to happen or not. But I think they're trying to put themselves in the same place as Marvel and DC and all these superhero movies that we're getting lately. Because they're a franchise that everyone knows about, so let's get into that world. It's making money, let's get into that. They got to get that money, son. I wonder if this will lead to a Saban cinematic universe where we start having Power Rangers and Beetleborg, the Masked Rider, all having their own movies and they come together in one giant movie. Do it, do it. And have Tyler Perry direct it because you'll be with Lionsgate. <laughs> Tyler Perry Saban Avengers featuring Medea. Now here's a question if they're gonna make a Power Rangers movie. I'm assuming we're gonna have a Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, and Black Ranger. Will we have a Green Ranger? Are they gonna put the Green Ranger in this too? Him coming into being part of the group, being evil at first, and then eventually joining the Power Rangers. That's a storyline in itself. Could that be the storyline? Because we already have to establish these new Power Rangers and that they got these new powers. So you almost feel like Green Ranger is sequel material, but then you don't know, you don't wanna assume you're gonna get a sequel because of this thing tanks, we won't get a sequel and we won't get a Green Ranger. So I'll be curious what's gonna happen with that. And of course, we gotta wonder if there's gonna be any cameos from the original Power Rangers, because we know that Saban has had such a great success in the past of getting Power Ranger cameos. <laughs> you know Jason David Frank gonna be up in this movie. Even if they don't invite him, he will just show up on set in a White Ranger or Green Ranger outfit and it's like, I'm in the movie, what you gonna do about it? And Saban be like, well, he's here, we, you're in, you're, go, give him a scene. And we wouldn't want it any other way. Jason David Frank, get your butt in that movie. And Bulk and Skull too. All right, let's talk about the Black Ranger and the Yellow Ranger for a second. Are we gonna get a Black Ranger and Yellow Ranger that's black and yellow, black and yellow? So everyone knows about the jokes and the controversy about how the Black Ranger in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was black and the Asian Ranger, the Asian Ranger was yellow. The Yellow Ranger was Asian. And look, I've made the jokes and it's been funny, but just stick with it. Come on, keep your Black Ranger black. You know, have a new Black Ranger for the kids out there. Even if they create new character names, I'm assuming they're gonna try to create them to look similar or be reminiscent of the Power Rangers of the past anyway, so I'm good. I will put down my race gauntlet. <laughs> It's like the Infinity Gauntlet, but it has the rings of all the different races on it. And then you just use whichever race that got offended as its power. <laughs> Someone needs to make this. Guardians of the stereotypes. So how do I feel about this news? 
I'm excited and nervous. I'm very excited that they're making a Power Rangers movie, and like I said before, I'm excited they're making a Power Rangers movie that is no way connected to any other Sentai footage that is just going to be straight up a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. I've always wanted that. I'm sure a lot of you have always wanted that. It's going to be interesting to see what these people can do when they have no limitations of what they can create with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers universe. I'm excited about that. I think that's going to be good. Obviously, it's going to take the right director to do this because I don't want... <laughs> I'm not going to mention any other movies. I'm trying to be nice, but I'm just saying there's some other movies, some other franchises out there that are making movies, and I'm going, really? You did that with those characters so I don't want to have to go through that with Power Rangers but fanboys Power Ranger fanboys listen closely let's 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 get eye to eye here there's gonna be changes okay this is a whole different thing it's a reboot there's gonna be some changes and there may be some things that are not necessarily connected to the Power Rangers legacy we've seen past we're gonna have to deal with it okay look they're not making this for you all right I mean you are a large part of why they're making this but they're trying to make this because nostalgia is in right now. If you don't believe me, check every article on BuzzFeed. And most people that remember Power Rangers remember the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers of 1993. That is why they're making a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers film and not a Power Rangers Dino Charge film. They know exactly what they're doing. This is a brand new thing to hit a general audience. So if it doesn't have every single Power Ranger detail that you want in it, you have to let it go, okay? This is a new thing. Let's enjoy the new thing. Let's support this new thing because I love the idea of having multiple Power Rangers universes. We already got this comic that's coming out. We got the television shows. I think this could be a really cool thing as long as it's done right. Do not get crazy, super gritty, or Michael Bay on this, okay? Just make a cool Power Rangers movie, get a cool cast. Have some fun with it, make it a little bit on the serious side, maybe even PG-13, who knows? And let's make a good Power Rangers movie so this can be a legit franchise. I'm with you, Saban. Let's make this happen. I believe in you. With a very, very shaky belief. <laughs> There's my hand shaking. There's really not that much information out there, so let's just see how this develops. I'm guessing I'm gonna have a lot more. I was worried when Ninja Turtles is coming out in August, I was like, there's no more movies I'm gonna be able to talk about in this vein again. Thank you, Power Rangers. You just gave me two more years of videos to make. <laughs> to hear from you. What do you guys think about this announcement of the Power Rangers movie, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie reboot? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to be the tone of it? Do you think they're going to have a brand new cast or are they going to just recast the original characters? What are your thoughts about it and what do you want from this movie? What do you want to have in a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie reboot? Pray. We gotta, we gotta get through this together, guys. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> Expect the worst, hope for the best. Be sure to thumbs up this video, and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week, and there's tons of Power Rangers videos on this channel, so if you like Power Rangers, sift through for all the Power Rangers material I have made. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000, Chain Chomp, it's more for time, yeah!